first question says a bias coin is flipped twice. Work out the probability of a tail and a tail. So let's highlight the part where we have a tail and another tail. So that's going to be 0 0.8 times 0 0.8. It's going to be 0 0.64. Always remember when you're going along the branches, you will multiply. When you're going across the branches, you will add. And the next part says work out the probability of at least one tail. So for at least one tail now, we can have two tails as well. We can have a tail and a head and a head and a tail. So that's going to be 0 0.64 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.8, which is basically equal to 0 0.64 plus 2 times 0 0.16. And that gives us 0 0.96. That is the probability of at least one day. Next, it says solve x square minus 2x minus 15 equals to 0. So we have this quadratic equation, and you have to find the values of x. So first, what we'll do is we'll multiply the coefficient of x squared with a constant. So that's 1 times 15, and that's 15. Now we list down factors of 15. So we have 5 times 3 and 1 times 15. We will choose that set of factors, which will add or subtract. It gives us the middle term which is two over here. So that's going to be five and three because five minus three is two. So we're going to do x squared minus five x plus three x minus 15 equals to zero. Now we're going to factor this by grouping. So first two terms is one group and the last two terms are going to represent another group. So in the first group we have x common, so x times x minus five. And the second group, we have three common, so plus three times x minus five. Between x and plus three, we have x minus five common. So we take that common, the other bracket will have x plus three. So one value is five, and the other one is negative three. Next question says, estimate is 7.8 times 2.1 divided by 0 0.199. So let's round E7.8 to 90, 2.122, to two, and 0 0.199 to 0 0.2. All of these are rounded correct to one significant figure. So 90 times 2 is 180 divided by 0 0.2. Move the decimal. We add a 0 over here. So that's going to be 1800 divided by 2, which is 900. That's your answer. And the next one, it says a number n has been truncated to two decimal places. The result is 5.62. Write down the error interval for n. So if it has been truncated to two decimal places, the error interval is going to be 5.62 to 5.63. 5.62 will be included in the range because that is what the number is. It can't be less than 5.62, but it can be greater than it. So it's going to be between 5.62 and 5.63.